As a man, if you don't empower your wife in this our society, especially if you be average man, one day, honestly, if something happens to you tomorrow, people will use your own children as house helps. It was here, Nick. It have a very simple thing. Guys, listen up, man. I want you to take your time and listen to this video. I am not going to waste your time. It was here, Nick. Yes, of course. And make sure say you did share and make it go viral. See, there is this argument, right, that men shouldn't allow their wives to engage into something doing to make money. Because when a woman makes money, she starts, you know, um, feeling funky. She starts, you know, challenging the husband. Yes, you are right, but not right, because not all women. All this being equal, not with all women. There are a few women who can do that, but there are majority of women who cannot do that. See, leave say our women are bad men, of course. They are really bad based on the kind of things they portray these days, no doubt. Okay, but honestly, there are infinitely many women in Alaibo. You get me? So not when maybe um, 40 percent do that, we can now generalize. No. There are a few of them, uh, sorry, there are some of them that cannot do so. But I am not saying to very rich people, if, if you feel that you are rich times hundreds, no wahala, maybe you must have gotten properties everywhere, okay, you have your lawyer to sign, or, or, or let me say, to, to assign this particular property to your son, to your wife, to this, to that, fine and good, no problem, okay, so that when you buy, they can now use that to hold themselves, no wahala. And they talk about average people. Average people, now people will be say you get one house, one structure, right, in the town, and one house in the village. You get like two cars, one for your wife and one for yourself. And you have, you have a business doing. Make sure, say, you train your wife in that job, line of business. Let your wife know your business partners. Because sometimes, man, one of your business partners may owe you. Yes, may owe you, may borrow money from you, and at the point you buy, or maybe they may buy you, right? And the money goes off. Your wife doesn't know about that money. You get me? Do you think they will pay out of their own good heart? They will never pay. Right? It could be that they are the ones that buy you for them not to be able to pay that money. Or maybe preventure you buy by nature. I mean, on a natural basis, okay? They will still not pay. But if to say you tell your wife things like that, man, your wife, especially if your wife is not lying, not going, you get me? Yes, she can be able to what? Get that money back. Though sometimes some women will just end up lashing that person, no? I mean, knocking that man, we owe, you know, the husband. Some women are like that, right? Yes. But see, try to make your wife today know some things, to some extent. Yes. If your wife is that good for you to show her everything about you, about your property, about your world, please show her if she is good. If you have lived up to 10 years with your wife, right? Yes. Giving birth to some children, man, you could be able to discuss or infer or give an inference about your wife's lifestyle, man, or person. You can be able to make an inference about your wife's person. It was even a yes, of course. So if your wife or if you feel that, you, that your wife is a good person, let her know things about your wealth. You get me about your business. Unless she is a bad person, no problem. But I'm talking, supposing you have a good wife. You get me, yes, a wife you cannot regret if she is eating your sweat, yes. But if now wife will be say you will regret if she they eat your sweat or they use your sweat your sweat to help you know the brothers the family no wahala don't show. But if your wife now person will be say if she they enjoy your wealth with her siblings with her children with you know this that that you will feel good in the grave no wahala show your wife your line of business your business partners man people that are owing you all the very simple because most times when you don't do that. Right? And you can't buy in time. You get me? All is being equal. Most times, men are the ones where they buy in time before women. Okay? So when you can't buy in time, most times your children may be used as house helps in different families, men. They may be messed up. They may be messed around. What would you think? How would you feel in your grave? It can on a grave, not a ton. You will be in that grave rolling because you never did the name for. So I'm saying, guys... Just ensure that your wife is a good person. If you can feel good that your wife, they eat your money well. No wahala. Show your wife that your business. Yes, show him everything she needs to know. But if you feel that your wife is not that type, that your wife, you know, um, that you can feel good if your wife is enjoying your money when you are gone. No problem. Don't show him. It was very neat that just it. But just that your children will still suffer it. In what I go, it's a very simple thing, guys. So, my dear, I say that. The high time you guys showed your wife, your wife's, your business, right? Yes, the better for you. Because when you buy, 
your children may really suffer. They may really become house helps to different families, man. To avoid that, show your wife your business now. Open a better business for her now. Make her to make money by herself now. To avoid, had I known tomorrow when you buy, I rest my case.